what is up everybody truly samuel here back with another video and today i am going to do kind of an essay video you know like a rant one and this is going to be about why i hate the fucking snow weather in gta now there is a tremendous amount of reasons why i hate this weather why i hate this period of time and why this is one of the worst times to decide to grind now since the Kayo Perico heist came out, you know, I decided that I would only grind out the heist. And that's good, you know, only using the submarine. I was mostly on the sea or on the sparrow. So I really wasn't doing on the ground jobs. But, you know, you get tired of doing the same thing over and over again. So I went back to my old ways. You know, trying to grind with vehicles, even though I don't really need the money. You know, it, it's just that it feels fun doing it. What happens? First vehicle, 20000 cost. You know, $20,000 in cost for repairs. Now, that is crazy. You know, at that point, you might as well just fucking throw away the vehicle. There, there's no point in selling it no more. But the only reason that, that I fucked up wasn't because you know i was driving bad but you try to go at speed try to take a turn at speed you're going to spin out you're going to fuck up you try to go slowly you're going to have vehicles that are behind you that are faster than you which fucking kamikaze right into you you know don't give a shit that you want to live or nothing they just crash you and don't care about what happens to them or the vehicle but anyway you know, it's not only about the vehicle part. I've only had problems in the air. Now, you might be like, what is the problem in the air with the snow? It's because the snow actually makes the map brighter. So I either have to lower the brightness or deal with some invisible bullshit. I've actually crashed like some cocaine sales just because, you know, flying, I couldn't see a fucking uh building or you know a palace or something that just straight fucking go into it you know and you, you'd be like no go fly high up i've actually crashed during the Cayo perico heist i stay high up but when you go to the yellow objective if you've seen my video you need to be at a kind of low attitude so i lower down and now everything's cool until the fucking plane decides to go on a fucking nosedive and the next thing i know i'm in the water and i fail the mission i gotta deal with every fucking consequence now that ain't fun if that's fun for you you shouldn't play this game it takes me around seven minutes to do that fucking mission seven eight nine depends on where the spawn but going almost at the end and getting destroyed at the literal last moment not because of my fault because you know i try to keep the plane but sometimes you just don't see it bro the the, the fucking smog is so big that you cannot actually see where the fucking things are you know you can't see where the ground is you can't see where the poles are i've, I've crashed into a fucking dome or something like that just thinking that it was okay to fly I didn't see shit, it was invisible. Now right now, as you can see right here, this is kind of the best weather you can have. Because there's no fog, there's nothing. So you can drive around, you know, it's easy, it's fun, but still, look at this. If I try to drift, the car just loses control, doesn't happen. You know, you have to go at a pretty slow, slow speed to actually drift. You sometimes get some pretty cool shit, like I'm doing right here, but yeah, look, look. I, 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 I just can't. I just can't fucking compete with this shit weather. I don't get it. Just make a server, you know, make it two servers. One that has snow, one that doesn't. I would like way more enjoy that shit. You know, if I don't want to fuck up and go drive into fucking poles and everything, just at least let me choose the weather. Okay, it, it, it's not like it's going to get me immersed into this shit. It's just going to make me mad and make me go back to the Cayo Perico heist and do the same shit over and over and over again, which is still not fun. I'm also going to make a video after this showing why 
GTA 5 is dead but alive. I know, seems like a dumb title, but you, you'll understand what I'm saying during the video. I'm going to talk about how it's still alive and why it should die. It, it should fucking go as a game. They need to put out GTA 6. But, you know, I don't know what's happening with GTA 6. Maybe problems or some shit like that. But still, they really, really need to put that game out. Because, you know, staying on this game for seven years... Now, I played it for the first time in 2015, and believe it or not, until 2019, I used to play this game on a PlayStation 3 only single player. I didn't have internet in my house, so I only had to play single player. I never knew what online was like. So when I first came to online, it was near the Christmas time, and when snow came, I was amazed. You know, it was a new thing for me. I didn't, I didn't know that the same thing that happened in the, uh, in the prologue mission would happen online. I was amazed, you know. I, I, I had fucking played single player and had already finished it like 50, 60 times on PS3. You know, so I already knew what would happen to me if I played GTA Online. I'd become a grinder. And I'd stay doing the same thing over and over again. I knew I wouldn't get bored. Because I never had games like this, you know. Most I had was, was some dumb shit on PlayStation like FIFA. But you know, FIFA is the same thing every time. You pass the ball, score. But at least you can play with friends. Well, GTA was a solo game. You know, I'd finish school. I'd finish my homework. I'd be on GTA. And not playing online, but playing single player. I already knew what, ha what would happen. I already knew the lines of dialogue. I already knew what I had to do. I actually even thought of becoming a speedrunner, but you know, <laughs> not a good idea when you're on PS3. Then my PS3 died. I, I you know, had to move on. I, I, it had a chip burn and had to move on to PC. Playing GTA Online for the first time was fun. It, it, it was amazing. I tell you, even though it was 2019, bro. It was a lot of fun. And people still play this game. Don't you dare think that people quit this game. People love this game. I tell you. It, it, it's it's immersive. It's fun. It has things to do. It, you can never say that it doesn't have things. Because it has so much fucking content. You cannot go through it all. And it's not dead in terms of players. Yeah, maybe there's not a lot. But on PC lobbies, man... Just find a new session and you'll get lobbies with 30 people, no problem, right away. It's not that hard. But, you know, there's a problem of modders. But still, back to the topic. They need to make it so that maybe you can remove this weather. It's not fun, dude. I tried playing with a couple of friends and always, always, you know, trying to do car meets and shit like that. Because I have 60 million dollars, man. There's nothing else I can do in this game. A new car comes out, I can buy it. I can maximize it. I can, I can do anything to it. But the only bad thing is that, you know, I can't fucking have fun with my friends anymore. Try to do a car meet. Someone will fuck up. Nobody's a good driver. I, I can tell you, man, they used to fuck up on the dumbest shit. All you have to do in a car meet, they say this. Don't press W too much. It, it'll fuck everyone up. If you fuck somebody's car up, you're going to get kicked. What does he do? He fucking comes in drifting the car meet, thinking that he's going to do something good and just destroys everybody's cars. Now, imagine that same dude with the snow. That dude, even if he comes slow, he's going to fuck up. I tell you what. Oh, he's going to fuck up big time, you know? And... Just because of that, we are going to have big problems with it with this weather. I mean, many people maybe like it, but I don't. I want them to make it able so some people can remove it, you know. I'm always in a solo session. If I'm trying to grind, I'm going to be in a solo session. I don't want some fucking guy with a, with a Mark II coming behind me and trying to destroy me. But yeah, I mean, just let us, allow us to remove it. You know, allow us to do something to it. Because it's not fun. It's not fun anymore. Maybe the first time or the second time. But it just becomes boring at some point. 
You know, you're going to fuck up with the plans, you're going to fuck up with the cars, with everything. You're, you're not going to be able to be in control anymore. And, and, and for grinders, this is a big thing because it fucks up our whole routine. Maybe many people don't grind anymore, you know, there's no more, there's not a point. You know, everything's bought, only if they, they put out new shit, but they are putting out new shit. You know, you can say, oh, they, they took it out for PS5s, but they are pulling out new shit. You can say whatever you want, but the Kyle Perico Heist was a fucking good update, all right? It, it, it was buggy, yeah, it had bugs, but it was a good update. It had content that, 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 that kept me on this game for more hours, which is rare with other games. You know, you, you bring out a new, a new update, you're just going to get a few more hours in the game and you're going to leave. Well, this game doesn't only bring one thing, it brought the new radio stations. The new radio stations are fire. Um, if you don't like them, you're stupid. They are fire. I mean, I'm telling you, it, it's good. But just listen to the community, man. Allow us to do what we want. Remove the fucking snow. It is not fun. And it doesn't go. Come on. Where have you seen Los Angeles with snow? Are you kidding me? But Los Angeles is like the most hottest place in america i'm just fucking kidding i don't know shit what i'm talking there but i just know that it is not snowy there all right and it doesn't make me more immersed into the game it just makes me mad with it so please remove the fucking snow or set an option so we can remove it